This video is about the music of India. Their vocal music, instruments, and the significance of music to their culture and traditions. India is the largest country in South Asia. Its music is as vast as its geographic location and as large as its demographic population. Religion is among important among the Indians. India is known to be the land of spirituality and philosophy. The music of India reflects different aspects of Asian culture through its timbre, rhythm, melody, texture, form, and style. In general, Indian music remains fundamental to the lives of the people of India as a source of spiritual inspiration, cultural expression, and entertainment. The vocal music of India is the people's way to express their deep devotion to their gods. It is manifested through the art of vocalization. The following are examples of Indian vocal music. Gongal is a musical style known for its rich and romantic content. Lakshanjit is a musical style which is oriented towards musical education. Swarmalika is used for pedagogy purposes. Tamil Nadu is speaks of the beauty of land of Tamil. Vijaya is an example of a farewell song. The basis of Indian music is the Sanjit. It is the combination of three art forms, vocal, instrumental, and dance. Music of India also includes several types of folk and popular music. One aspect of vocal music uses melismatic singing with nasal vocal quality, when compared with the Philippine music which uses melismatic singing is only used in chanting epics and the pa Pasyan. Samagana is a style of singing developed into a strong and diverse tradition over several centuries, becoming an established part of contemporary tradition in India. Samaveda is a sacred text, were sung as Samagana and not chanted. Sama Veda is the third of the four Vedas of Hinduism but ranks next to Rig Veda in terms of its sanctity and liturgical importance. Rig Veda is also sung in the Samagana traditional singing style. Because of its liturgical importance, Rig Veda is counted as first among the four canonical sacred texts of Hinduism known as Vedas. Rig Veda is an ancient Indian sacred collection of Vedic Sanskrit hymns. Indian music encompasses two genres, the Carnatic and Hindustani music, they have distinct characteristics. Here are the characteristics of Carnatic music. Refers to music from South India. Directed to a Hindu god which is why it is called temple music. Compositions called Kriti are devotional songs. Music pieces are mainly set for the voice and with lyrics. Unlike Hindustani music, Carnatic music is unified where schools are based on the same ragas, the same solo instruments, veena, flute, violin, and the same rhythm instrument. Here are the characteristics of Hindustani music. Goes back to Vedic period times around 1000 BC. Further developed in the 13th and 14th centuries AD with Persian influences and from existing religious and folk music. Predominantly found in the northern and central regions in North India, the most common style of singing is called Kyal a word which means imagination. Influenced by ancient Hindu musical traditions, historical Vedic religions, Vedic philosophy, 
native Indian sounds and enriched by the Persian performance practices of the Mughal era. Nasal singing is observed in their vocal music. Musical elements of Indian music Rhythm uses tala. Melody uses raga, ornamented and complex modal system, uses drone. Vocal timbre is nasal. Instrumental timbre is vibrating stringed instruments. Harmony is heterophonic. Texture is highly ornamented. Highly improvisational form. Precomposed pieces uses strict tala. Hymn to Shiva is an example of an Indian song which has a spiritual content. It has a slow tempo, narrow melody range, and uses nasal vocal in singing. What is Raga? Raga is a combination of a scale and melody. It is the basis of Indian classical music. A raga is based on the principles of combination of notes selected out the 22 note intervals of the octave. Each raga has its own mood such as sorrow, happiness, or peace. These ragas are meant to be played at different times of the day and year. Purvaragas are sung between 12 noon and 12 midnight. Altar ragas between 12 midnight and 12 noon. Ragas are classified into three categories. Odeva or pentatonic composition of five notes. Shadeva or hexatonic composition of six notes. Sampoorna or heptatonic composition of seven notes. What is Tala? Tala is the common Indian system of rhythm. Tala literally meaning clap, variously transliterated as tall, tall, or tala. The basic concepts of tall are Tali is the pattern of clapping. Each tall is characterized by a particular pattern and number of claps. Kali is the wave of the hands these have a characteristic relationship to the claps. Vibhag is the measure. Each clap or wave specifies a particular section or measure. These measures may be of any number of beats, yet most commonly two, three, four, or five beats are used. Matra is the beat. It may be subdivided if required. There are over hundred talas, but only thirty talas are known and only about 10 TP12 are used. Here are some of them. Dadra's shortest tala with six beats. Rupak, tala with seven beats. Yahap tall tala with ten beats. Ektal tala with twelve beats. Tintal Tala with 16 beats. There are many musical instruments in India. Some instruments are used primarily in North Indian music or Hindustani Sanjeet while many other instruments are used in South Indian music Carnatic Sanjeet. Instrumental music is often similar to vocal music but sometimes they have distinctive instr instrumental styles. There are five known traditional systems for classification of instruments. Classification of musical instruments from India. Gone. Nonmembranous percussion. Avanad. Membranous percussion. Sushir Aerophones or wind instrument Tat Plucked string instruments Vitat Bowed string instruments Gon Described as a non-membranous percussive instrument but with solid resonators 
It is one of the oldest classes of instrument in India. Gatam is nothing more than a large clay pot. It is very commonly played in South Indian classical performances. There are two actions of resonance. The primary one is the ringing of the pot caused by striking. A very low resonance is also produced by the cavity. This pitch is raised or lowered by opening or closing the hole with the stomach. Manjura is a traditional percussion instrument of Bharata India. In its simplest form, it is a pair of small hand cymbals. It is also known as Manjira, Tal, Jalra, Kartal, or Kartal. Kartal are a pair of wooden blocks or frames with small metal jingles mounted in them. They are simply beaten together to provide a rhythmic support to bhajans, curtain, folk and other light music. The term kartal is also applied to wooden claves. Nout, a.k.a. nut, is a small pot used in Kashmir as a percussion instrument. It may be thought of as a North Indian gatam. Avanad Described as a membranous percussive instrument. This class of instruments typically comprise the drums. Daf is a large Persian frame drum used in popular and classical music. The frame is usually made of hardwood with many metal ringlets attached and the membrane is usually goat skin. Tabla is a membranophone percussion instrument, which is often used in Hindustani classical music. It is used in Indian folk music and is a part of Hindustani music art. The instrument consists of a pair of hand drums of contrasting sizes and timbers. It appears similar to their Afro-Cuban or Latin American drum-based relatives. The right-hand drum is called a tabla and the left-hand drum is called a daga or baya. It is claimed that the term tabla is derived from an Arabic word, tablu, which simply means drum. The doll is a double-sided barrel drum played mostly as an accompanying instrument in regional music forms. In Kawali music, the term doll is used to describe a similar, but smaller drum used with the smaller tabla, as a replacement for the left-hand tabla drum. The doll is played using two wooden sticks, usually made out of bamboo and cane wood. The stick used to play the bass side of the instrument, known as the daga in Punjabi, is thick and is bent in a quarter circular arc on the end that strikes the instrument. The other stick, known as tilai, is much thinner and flexible and used to play the higher note end of the instrument. Someone who plays the doll is known as Tholai special expression of face and frequent rotation of whole body is associated with a particular Tholai to perform a realistic performance. Murdongam is a barrel-shaped double-ended drum. It is played with both hands. It is the primary rhythmic accompaniment in a Carnatic music and Nawa music ensemble. Sushir, also known as blown air. It is characterized by the use of air to excite the various resonators. The Bansurai is a transverse flute of India made from a single hollow shaft of bamboo with six or seven finger holes. An ancient musical instrument associated with cowherds and the pastoral tradition. It is intimately linked to the love story of Krishna and Radha and is also depicted in Buddhist paintings from around 100 CE. Bansuri. The word ban originates in the Sanskrit bans means bamboo sir means melody. There are two varieties of bansuri.
transverse, and fipple. The fipple flute is usually played in folk music and is held at the lips like a whistle because it enables superior control, variations, and embellishments. The transverse variety is preferred Indian classical music. The shane, 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 or mangalvadiya is a double reed oboe, common in India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, and Iran made out of wood, with a metal flare bell at the end. Its sound is thought to create and maintain a sense of auspiciousness and sanctity and, as a result, is widely used during marriages, processions, and in temples although it is also played in concerts. Shanae is similar to South, India's Nadaswaram. This tubular instrument gradually broadens towards the lower end. It usually has between six and nine holes. It employs one set of quadruple reeds, making it a quadruple reed woodwind. By controlling the breath, various tunes can be played on it. Shanka is a conch shell which is of ritual and religious importance in both Hinduism and Buddhism. The Shanka is the shell of a species of large predatory sea snail, Turbinella pyrum, which lives in the Indian Ocean. This instrument has a strong association with the Hindu religion. It is said that when it is blown, it announces the victory of good over evil. This instrument has limited musical applications. Tat referred to as Veena during the old civilization. Instruments in this class are plucked or stringed instruments. Sitar is a plucked stringed instrument used mainly in Hindustani music and Indian classical music. A sitar can have 18, 19, or 20 strings. Six or seven of these are played strings which run over curved, raised frets, and the remainder are sympathetic strings which run underneath the frets and resonate in sympathy with the played strings. The instrument is believed to have been derived from the veena, an ancient Indian instrument, which was modified by a Mughal court musician to conform with the tastes of his Persian patrons and named after a Persian instrument called the setter. Ektara also called Ikter Ektar, Yaktarogopi Chand, is a one-string instrument most often used in traditional music from Bangladesh, India, Egypt, and Pakistan. In origin the ektara was a regular string instrument of wandering bards and minstrels from India and is plucked with one finger. The ektara is a drone lute consisting of a gourd resonator covered with skin, through which a bamboo neck is inserted. The chitravina is a 20 or 21 string fretless lute in Carnatic music. Around the late 1800s and early 1900s, it started to be known by another name, Gotavadiyam. Veena is a classical Hindu lute belonging to the family of string musical instruments. It is an ancient musical instrument which is said to have been invented by Narada, one of the seven great rishis, who was also a Veena maestro. The Veena is a pluck string instrument, four feet long, carved and with a hollowed structure made of wood, generally, jack wood. According to ancient classification of Indian stringed instruments, Gaudavadiyam is also one type of Veena. Though both of them have resemblance, Gaudavadiyam is unfretted, whereas Veena is fretted. Veena has got only seven strings, whereas Gaudavadiyam has nine main strings and twelve sympathetic strings. It is more difficult to gain mastery over this instrument, 
yet capable of bringing out finer nuances if played by expert hands. Robab or Rabab is a lute like musical instrument originating from central Afghanistan. It derives its name from the Arab Rabab, which means played with a bow, but in Central Asia the instrument is plucked and is distinctly different in construction. Rabab is a national music instrument of Afghanistan. Vitat Described as bowed stringed instruments. This is of the oldest classifications of instruments and yet did not occupy a place in classical Indian music until the last few centuries. Srang is a bowed, short neck string instrument from South Asia which is used in Hindustani classical music. It is said to most resemble the sound of the human voice able to imitate vocal ornaments such as gamaks and means. Shakara is a bowed stringed musical instrument from Bengal, India used to play Indian folk music. The Shakara is a simple spike fiddle played similarly to the Saranji or Saringda, by sliding fingernails on the strings rather than pressing them to touch the fingerboard. It has three strings, two horsehair and one steel. S. Raj also called the Indian harp is a string instrument found in two forms throughout the north, central and east regions of India. It is a young instrument by Indian terms, being only about 200 years old. The deal ruba is found in the north, where it is used in religious music and light classical songs in the urban areas. S. Raj is a combination between Saringda and Sitar. The base of the instrument is like Saringda while the neck and strings are like Sitar. It gives a sound very much like Saranji without being as difficult to play. This instrument is often confused with Dilruba. Both have a similar construction and technique. The approach to tuning is somewhat similar to the sitar. The S. Raj is popular in the Bengal area of India. Banam is a class of folk fiddles found among the Santal people of northeast India and Bangladesh. The importance of the banam to the santals is well represented by the artwork on the instrument. Tabla is most common instrument for keeping rhythm in Hindustani music. Murdongam, most common instrument for keeping rhythm in Carnatic music. It is also transliterated as Murdong. Here are some of the Indian terms that you should be familiar of. Ball is the mnemonic system where each stroke of the drum has a syllable attached to it. These syllables are known as ball. It is co common to consider the ball to be synonymous to the stroke itself. Theka is a conventionally established pattern of bowls and vibhog which define the tall. In Indian classical music, both Hindustani classical music and Carnatic music use complex rules to create elaborate patterns of rhythm. Sam is the beginning of the cycle. The first beat of any cycle is usually stressed. Shruti is the musical intonation. Avardhan is the basic cycle. Thiyat is a group of seven notes in ascending order that creates the raga or Indian scale. Malakarta is the collection of fundamental ragas from which other ragas may be generated. Garana is a musical style. Laya is the tempo. The tempo may be either slow or vilambit, medium or madhya, and fast or drut. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching.